Welcome back to Fine Art Friday, and today we're going to create this wild and fun, crazy looking rooster. And we're doing this um, because I was inspired by Pablo Picasso's rooster that he created. Um, this is done with oil pastel that he created, and I put an image of a real rooster next to it just so you could see the difference between um, something realistic and something that is drawn um, differently with a lot of fun colors and a lot of fun shapes. And so we're going to take this, I'm going to show you how to draw this using different shapes, and then we're going to use oil pastels to color it in on the inside. So what you're going to need is a piece of black paper, um, some pastels, and then some oil pastels. So here's my box of pastels that I have. You can use whatever kind that you have. And then I have a box of oil pastels that have just been used um, over and over and over again. So um, just go grab those things and come right back and we'll get started with our drawing. All right, so I've got my black piece of paper, which I know blends in with this black foam board in the back, but just trust that it's here. Look, there it is. And what we're going to do with our plain white pastel is that we're going to draw some shapes on here. Now, if you don't have a white pastel, you can use a crayon or you can use um, a yellow pastel. It doesn't have to be white, just something that shows up on your, on your black paper. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to start with the body of our rooster right here. And that's going to be a circle. All right, so some sort of circle there. And we want to move up to the neck and head. And I think this looks more like a, a big oval right here. So we're going to draw an oval. Now you want to draw some chicken beaks. It's not a chicken, I'm sorry, I keep calling it as a chicken. It's a rooster, a rooster beak. And so you can do that by making some triangles if you want. You can round those off if you want. You can put a little tongue in there in the middle because Picasso put a little tongue in his, which I think is hilarious. I like how he did that. All right, now we've got this part of our rooster and then this part. So just have fun with the shape. Don't worry about it being accurate. Okay, and then we're gonna draw these two pieces. And then he put some feathers back here, so you can draw a little bit of feathers. And then we need some legs, so let's draw two lines for our legs with diagonal lines coming off, triangle and triangle. Okay, that was fairly quick. So if you need to pause, pause, and then we'll come together and we'll do our tail. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to catch up. Um, let's draw the tail of our rooster. So I'm just going to come up here and draw big curved lines. And again, I'm drawing this upside down, so I'm sure, whoops, I'm sure it does look a little different than this one, and that's quite all right. I'm not worried about that. So there's my tail. And then he drew his eyes where you could see both of them on one side. And so I drew my eyes that same way as well. So I'm gonna draw one eye here and one eye here. You can put little dots in the middle for right now if you'd like, just to kind of have that there. So there, the basic drawing is done. We used ovals and circles, triangles, just simple shapes to create our drawing of our rooster. Now I want you to go gather your oil pastels and we're gonna to come together and I'm gonna show you how to start coloring this with fun oil pastels. Here's my container of oil pastels right here. As you can see, they've been used, which is great. They should be used. They shouldn't be um, still in their wrappers, completely solid, we wanna use them, right? So just a heads up, you are going to get messy with this. Oil pastels um, will get all over your fingers, which is fine, but I just wanna let you know that if you get it on your clothes, the oil in the oil pastels will stain your clothes. So if you are worried about staining your clothes or anything around you, I would suggest putting an old t-shirt on or an apron and um, definitely having something down on your table so the oil pastels don't get all over the table. All right, well let's go ahead and begin. Now you can color your rooster any color that you want. It does not have to look like mine. It does not have to look realistic whatsoever. Um, again, this is Pablo Picasso's rooster and then this is an image of a real rooster. If you wanna kinda of keep it similar, sure, not a problem, but if you wanna just use all sorts of wild, fun colors, go for it. I think it'll look awesome. 
So when you color with oil pastels, you can layer. And I'm not gonna color everything for you, but I just wanna give you a, a quick idea of how to do this. And I'm going to color the beak first with some orange. And I wanna push down with my pastel so that you can't really see any of the black underneath. It's okay to go right over that pastel line or that chalk line, it'll disappear. But you can also add some more colors on top to blend it and to give it some variation. And it just looks so much more interesting when you start adding other colors on top. So you go ahead and you start coloring your beak, your head, and the body, and then we'll come back together to work on the tail. Okay, so we've been able to color the basic part of our chicken, and now I wanted to come together and I wanted to draw our tail together, just so you can see some blending techniques. Um, I'm gonna use just a series of blues back here at first, and then I'll layer some other colors on top. So this is like a blue-green. Start using the black. I'm going to trace over all my areas. Make these goofy eyes on there and just start tracing over everything. Okay, so you start tracing over all the parts of your rooster with the black, and then we'll come back together to do our background. So everything's been outlined with our black oil pastels now. Um, what we're going to do now is take some plain pastels, which is like chalk, and you can go ahead and do this. Um, we're gonna choose a lighter color for the background just to make it uh, exciting and pop out and you know, just make, I just think it looks more interesting with the brighter colors around it. So if you wanna leave it at, like this, that's fine, go ahead, but I'm going to start taking a series of colors and I'm gonna start first with this bright yellow and I'm just going to rub that pastel right over it. Now you'll notice that wherever I have the oil pastel, the um, chalk or the pastel itself won't really go over it. So it's kind of stopping it or resisting it. So you do this all the way around. off and make all this big mess here. That's why we're working on the surface. Okay, so you get all those colors neatly blended in there. Um, let's blow it off a little bit. Brush it off, blow it off. Now I wanted to, I went ahead and added some blue and green lines through mine. So here's what it would look like. I just take these bright blue lines and go around my rooster. 
all the way around those blue lines and then maybe some I don't know, bright green lines whatever colors you want if you want to do this part but what I've noticed when this happens is that that oil or the pastel has kind of gone over on my black lines and I don't really want that there so I'm gonna just clean up those edges real quick with my black pastel oil pastel go back over them especially down here in the leg section this helps it pop back out again and then if there are some other areas maybe up here in this area tongue yeah, you just go back over and clean up the areas that you want get a nice crisp finished edge and there you have it there is your fun lovely wild and crazy looking rooster in the style of Picasso and here's Picasso's here's your example and then I also have examples from my three children so this is from Brooke who is seven that was her example This is from Lila, who is six. And then this is from Zachary, who is four. So they all had a lot of fun. They said it was a lot of fun to create these and I hope you have fun creating them too. Don't forget, um, if your parents allow you to, to post your pictures on the Facebook page with this thread so that we can see your awesome roosters that you create. All right, I hope you have fun making this. and We'll talk to you later.